am Samantha B. Today is December 13th, 2017, I think, or maybe it's November 9th, 2016. I feel like I got a do-over. Once again, we watched as a regressive candidate campaigning on white resentment was accused of sexual assault by enough women to field a softball team. But this time, the story ended differently. And CNN projects Doug Jones, the Democrat. He will be the next United States Senator from Alabama. to turn Alabama into a purple state just by being the rare Democrat who didn't trip over his own dick. <laughs> he didn't Dean scream, he didn't go windsurfing, and he didn't be a woman. This guy is killing it. And in his victory speech, Doug Jones showed that he'll be a good senator for all the people of Alabama with a shout out to the Imperiled Children's Health Insurance Program. I have this challenge to my future colleagues in Washington. Don't wait on me. Take this opportunity in, in light of this election and go ahead and fund that SHIP program before I get up there. Wow, it was gonna be accurate either way, but I'm actually happy to say, Alabama, your senator really cares about kids. Also, <laughs> let's take note that a Democrat won in Alabama because a Democrat actually ran for Senate in Alabama. Jeff Sessions ran unopposed in 2014 and won with 97% of the vote. The other 3% was just Jeff Sessions being too tiny to reach the voting lever. <laughs> Guys, we need to keep showing up. This is a great day for the left and a weird day for the right. This loss has driven establishment Republicans into open revolt against Steve Bannon conservatism. Sorry, I meant open revulsion. This guy does not belong on the national stage. He looks like some disheveled drunk that wandered onto the political stage. Did you just call Steve Bannon a disheveled drunk? No, to be very precise, I said he looks like one. That must be a sobering rock bottom moment for the disheveled drunks of the nation. <laughs> there are a lot of people who came together to make this victory possible. As always, black voters did the hard work no one else could be counted on to do. The African American community, thank you! Oh, you better thank black people. Actually, thank the guy who said he missed slavery. That was like the bat signal for black voters. <laughs> They turned out in huge numbers, despite the fact that if you're black in Alabama, you are legally required to Zeta Jones your way to the polls. <laughs> and let's not forget another factor in Doug Jones's victory, Roy Moore's horse. She really took one for the team. I think she may have single-handedly eroded the white lady vote. First With of all, Jones, when you're riding Roy Western, Moore. you don't actually use two reins, and that really hurts the horse. He's a horrible, cruel horseback rider, okay. on top of being oh a loser. God. That guy does not know what he's doing at all. He's so off balance, and the horse is so clearly uncomfortable. You rode into being the biggest loser in Alabama right. this morning, and you hurt your horse sassy. You can be a racist, sexist, homophobe, and white lady voters might overlook it, but do not hurt a horse named Sassy. <laughs> I have to say, I was not expecting this because a lot of Alabama voters were loudly ready to double down on more. In the days before the election, Republican political consultant Frank Luntz spoke with a gaggle of Roy Moore supporters in a Birmingham coffee shop where we were treated to television's most upsetting central perk conversation ever. <laughs> Could Roy Moore's accusers be any more complicit? Exactly. How many are actually not being paid or being coerced to do this? How many of them do you think are being paid? All of them. All of them? Yeah. All of them. By show of hands, how many of you think all the women are being paid? Seriously. Do you know how dumb you have to be to surprise Frank Luntz? And I am not calling Alabamians dumb. I'm calling people who supported Roy Moore dumb. Like this guy, Roy Moore's actual campaign spokesman. Judge Moore has also said uh, that he doesn't think uh, a Muslim member of Congress should be allowed to be in Congress. Why? Uh, under what, but, under what provision of the Constitution? Because you have to swear on the Bible, you have to swear on a Bible to be an elected official in the, in the United States of America. You don't actually have to swear on a Christian Bible. You can swear on anything, really. I don't know if you knew that. You can swear on a Jewish Bible. Oh, no, you can swear I swore on, a, on the can, Bible. I've done can, it three times. I'm sure Jay. you have. I'm sure you've picked a Bible, but the law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. You, you don't know that? Well, that took a while. 
But of course, Alabama Republicans believe in carrying every pregnant pause to full term. <laughs> Still, Alabama did something amazing last night. Remember, 75% of Alabamians identify as Republicans, and the state voted nearly two to one for Trump in 2016, and yet Roy Moore lost. That is remarkable. I mean, sure, over 650,000 people voted for him, but at least now you know who not to let babysit your kids. <laughs> Even Alabama's senior Republican Senator Richard Shelby helped propel Jones to victory. I'd rather see uh, the Republican win, but I hope that Republican would be a write-in. I uh, couldn't vote for Roy Moore. I didn't vote for Roy Moore, but I wrote in a distinguished Republican name. Not sure White Santa is eligible to be on the ballot, but it's still better than Roy Moore. Now that we know it takes literal child molestation to get Republican voters to switch sides, maybe Democrats will take a lesson from this too. This is a wake up call for Democrats. They've taken the black vote and the poor vote for granted for a long time. It's time for them to get off their ass and start making life better for black folks and people who are poor. They've always had our votes, and they have abused our votes, and this is a wake-up call. I agree with Charles. Look, I think that we have to focus on forgotten communities. My friend Charles Broccoli is right. Democrats need to start paying more attention to the people of color who vote for them. And it only took one child predator and decades of black people saying this for them to realize it. But at the very least, can this please mean the end of pretending white coal miners are the only people who vote? I don't have any more room for articles about them. Look, I don't want to read too much into this. This victory doesn't say anything definitive about Democrats or Republicans or Donald Trump or whether Roy Moore is a sad little loser boy, except for that last thing. Suck it, Roy Moore. Jesus thinks you're dumb. <laughs> Seriously, though, this victory belongs to one small group of people, the women who came forward against Roy Moore. They endured horrific treatment from everyone, from their neighbors up to the President of the United States, and they had no idea whether it would make a difference. Their bravery changed the world last night. I hope that they are having a great day, because thanks to them, Roy Moore sure isn't. We'll be right back. <laughs>